Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Neverwinter Nights 2 Storms of Zahir. Where we left off last time, we were exploring around the northern part of Chult Island and we have encountered a ruin and it says the ruins of some sort of shrine lie here. At the center of the circle of broken pillars stands a lone stone with writing carved into it. We examined the writing. Most of the writing is faded and what remains is written in a strange serpentine letters in strange serpentine letters. We will try and decipher the letters. The writing reads, The Fallen Hirsha, beloved of Irinya, boundaries of death and beyond, I will await my love. I don't know how that helps us at all. We're gonna rest though, because I think we need spells and hit points and stuff. And things come after us yet, but it looks like there's another rune type thing up here. And there are fell trolls. Which are coming... Well, we are teleporting around a little bit. They're coming right at us, though. We're gonna have to kill them. Kill them good. So there are at least four fell trolls in this group. Which means we should probably get a haste up and running. Oh, right. The camera's on the weird angle. There we go. It is injured. Badly wounded. Oh, they're actually troll trolls, too. They require acid to kill. Okay. Oh, it's okay. That one will die. We did a fire brand. They hit pretty hard, though. Um, well, we do have mass heal now, so that's a good thing. And that takes care of that. That one's almost dead. We should probably... Well, that's just dandy. Oh, I see we're doing my firebrand again. Alright, that's fine. Someone could knock that one down, please, so we can just kill it. Uh, that one is knocked down, it looks like. Bell trolls are annoying. We should have really gotten a fire sword a long time ago. I think that one's down too, even though it seems to be standing up. Weird. Anyways, okay, we're leaving. Probably gonna gain a whole bunch of experience for that fight. 600 or so, maybe 700. Maybe we will hit level 20 this game. 640, I was pretty close. Oh, there's Mega Raptors coming at us now too. Not as annoying as, um... Some of the other enemies. Run! They're only raptors. They're only very, very fast. They're catching us, for sure. They are not able to be parlayed, apparently. They give... Zero... Care. Sure, yes. About what we have to say for ourselves. Looks an awful lot like a T-Rex to me. With maybe longer arms. There's only two of them though, so that's not so bad. Way easier to kill them than the trolls. And let's leap. That was worth even more experience. 748. So in the last two fights we've gained about... 1400 experience or so. That's yes, actually that pretty good. That's a lot. Now there's also Soul Sworn Batiri up there. This is definitely the more level intensive area of the game. It's down here. I honestly should just pull up a map of this area so that we can figure out where things are. But that removes some of the fun of exploring. Especially in a dangerous land with soul sworn Batiri and stuff around. But it doesn't look like we're finding anything on this side, so at least we found those one runes. Oh, we found more Mega Raptors. I do kind of enjoy those. Alright. Oh, there's three of them this time. 
Sure, yes. Haste is still of vital importance. The first one's just getting destroyed. One down. Two to go. And that's all of them. Nice and easy. Didn't really have to do a whole lot, actually. They were not particularly hard. Let's return to the Overland map. I just feel like we missed things over on that other side, but... We didn't see anything, so... I mean... We can always go explore it more later if we need to. Or can we? Is this the end of the game? I don't even know. This could be leading towards the end of the game. There's some wild elves here. They might have a store for us to shop at. That'd be kind of nice. Interesting locations in the area. Where the water falls from the earth's mouth lies a cave concealed in the mist. Only a foolish hunter would seek prey in that place. You were warned. Alright, well, let's go take a look around. What is that, Mega Raptors again? We do need some more experience. I would say. I'd like wish? to hit at least level 18, maybe. We're only level 17 now. Don't get me wrong, that's still a pretty high level and we can take on most of the encounters with ease. Why am I traveling at warp speed? Not that I'm complaining, but that was really, really fast. We're gonna go exploring through here one more time. I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'm going to rock through with my rogue, who has the best spot and search checks. Um, our monk, while good at most things, is not so good at that. Two Mega Raptors this time. I actually really like fighting the Mega Raptors. They're worth a ton of experience, and they're not all that hard to kill. Especially when we crit for 164 damage. That's a huge amount of damage. Our Scythe Weapon Master may be a little bit overpowered. Alright, we're going to have to be very careful not to miss things. Jesus. Apparently we can't even go anywhere though without getting into another fight. And this place is just chock full of Mega Raptors. Three of them sure, this time. Yes. What is that one attacking, I wonder? It looks like it's attacking nothing. Alright, well we're getting tons of experience, if nothing else. Okay, so we're up in the north. I'm gonna switch to my rogue. She is slow as hell in the forest, but she has the best spot check and search checks, I think. Her search is 23 and her spot is only 15, but still, I think it's best in our group. If we don't find anything this time around, so there's the destroyed temple. Oh, we're gonna have to fight wyverns, aren't we? Oh, we hid, right. She also has a really good hide. Not good enough, apparently. Run! <sighs> Fine, we'll fight and kill these things, too. At a certain point, you should just be, like, able to turn off random encounters if you want to. Two of them just instantly died to a barrage of critical hits. We did get poisoned on our main character a little bit. And there's police going by my house. Good. I must live on, like, the area with the most police requirement ever, because every time I try and record, there's always police or ambulances flying by my house. Where's neutralized poison? We'll rest when we get out of the screen. I 
think we'll just quickly check the edge of the world and then we'll go all the way to the other side. It shouldn't take too long. Best to search now before the end of the game and then we can't do a whole lot because it's already over. I found a mine. Okay, well let's see what's in the mine. Oops, wrong button. Walk in my I am now used to F5 being quick save again. Like every other game in the world, why does Never Rejoice 2 have to be different? Quick save F5. Game developers, quick save is F5. Quick load is F8. Never change that formula. It works so well for everyone. There's actual just straight up miners in here. This mine is the rightful claim of Clan Whitestone. You are to leave immediately. What are you doing here? Like I said, this is a mine. We're miners. We mine. Is any of this getting through to you? Have you dug up anything interesting? That's none of your damn business. Well, I'm going in. You can try and stop me if you want to. Well, I mean... Could just take whatever they've mined up. That does seem kind of evil, but at the same time, we came all this way. Oh good, more police, and our firemen, and our ambulances. Attack! We'll just take down the earth elementals and the miners. This earth elemental has a ton of life. It's now injured. I don't think it's uh, able to be critically hit, so that's a little bit of a problem. Or a slight annoyance, I should say. That miner was not immune to critical hit, though. He definitely took. A pretty beefy critical hit to the face, hundred and something damage. You guys got that, right? I'm just gonna loot things. A breastplate plus three, greenstone. We do have a rogue, so that's a plus. If there was a quest in this mine, we could no longer do it because we just killed everyone in it. Oh, it's just gems. That's it? I don't want gems. I was hoping for a magical item or something. That was a tremendous waste of our time. Is there something you wish? I wish that we had better loot in here. Now I can't even rest. I can't even get my life back. For the couple seconds we took a beating from an Elder Earth Elemental. Two of them. I'm somewhat disappointed about that mine thing. We might as well go as fast as we can before- <laughs> as far as we can on that lightning fast movement before we can't anymore. Alright, I guess there's nothing else over here. I couldn't find anything else, so I don't care too much to search. We're gonna go to the other side and see if we can find whatever it is we need to find. I'm imagining this is going to be near the- at least near the end of the game. I mean, we are pretty high level, and the things we're fighting are pretty tough, so there can't be too much more left to go. I am tempted to sort of grind up a level a bit. We are at 14 minutes, so if this ends at half an hour before getting to the World Temple, which is way over there, their Temple of the World Serpent or whatever, maybe I'll just stay out here and kill monsters until we hit a little bit Ah, oh, not fell trolls though. I'd rather fight a million Mega Raptors than a handful of Fell Trolls. I hate them. They're so annoying. Anything up around here? No, not spotting anything yet. What's the thing? It said where the waterfall meets the something. There's stuff there we're not supposed to hunt. I don't know what that means exactly. There's a Yonti Temple. Let's go take a look at that. Is that Mega Raptors? No, it's trolls. Screw trolls. These ruins have been nearly swallowed by the jungle. Massive vines sneaking through its stones. Let's go inside. Probably not going to be a fun place. 
in terms of fighting. Yonti seem to have a lot of traps on their stuff. It's methods and imps, or just imps. No methods, just imps. I'm not too concerned about the imps, in all honesty. It could be a level 40 imp and I'd still kill it. Imps are never really something you have to worry too much about. Nothing in that room, though. There's somebody way back there on the... in the main chamber that looked humanish. There's Eurydice. Oh, there's demons in here. Interesting. Or devils. Eurydice are demons or devils? I can never remember which one's which. I think they... Did you just slay a living? Oh, you dismissed it. I see. Eurydice are demons, right? No, devils. They're devils. I am pretty sure they're devils. They're like the devil version of a succubus, and succubus are definitely demons, so... I think that's where we're at. Well, we killed all the little demonies, so I guess we'll go take on the main demony. It is a... Well, there's a horned devil and a yaunty diabolist there. Everyone gather up, we'll haste, we'll go in, we'll kill the horned devil. It's not going to be that hard. Get in step. Follow me. I don't think. We'll quick save just in case this is harder than I imagine it's going to be. There are some irides here too. Where is my scythe guy? Why the hell are you way back there? Oh, come on. Get out of the way. You know, in actual D&D, you can move past characters, you can move past group members, I should say, with ease. You don't need to mm, shove them around at all. Oh, the devil's almost dead anyways. There we go. character. Don't do that. Just do this. There we go. Problem solved. Go kill that guy. Is that our earth? Oh, he's shaded out. We can't kill him yet. Now he's dead. Well, that was a quick end to him. Any loot off the Horned Devil? Probably something. Horned Devil Scales. Also a chest. We're going to uh, use nobody to open it because it's unlocked. A ring. A ring of major fire resistance. I'm sure that will almost be completely useless. But at least we did the temple, so that's fun. I wonder if my group is just kind of standing around and not helping out all that much. That being said, we did kill a temple full of things. There's yuan -Ti near us, so let's get away from those so we can rest. Should be able to rest down here, I think. Maybe? Yeah, we're fine. Okay, now where are we at for stuff? There's probably something else around here I would imagine to do. There's a- there's clearly a temple of some sort there. I'm literally standing in you now. No? Okay. Ooh, Mega Raptors. We will fight those because Mega Raptors are awesome for experience. And they don't take very long. Quick haste. Massacre them. Probably the longest part is the loading screen. I like you, Mega Raptors. You are worth so much experience. And final one.
That's another like 800 experience or so, plus the 38 per kill, so probably a little over 900 experience. Oh no, it's only 748. Oh, that sucks. Anything around here? Other than Yuan T. Parlay Intimidate. At least we can intimidate them before we go massacre them. I just don't want to miss things, you know, and now it's just making me annoyed because I have to keep doing these stupid random encounters, of which there's too many, by the way. There's a difference between having a good diversity of random encounters and just having, like, every random encounter all the time. They're not the same thing. Alright, anything else around here before we just head somewhere towards the world tree or whatever it's called? Alright, oh, Mega Raptors. I will fight those, but then we are going to continue on. So we're headed towards the world thing now, I guess? What is it? Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll explore a little bit more to you. If we missed anything, by the way, let me know so I can go back and find it. One dead. Next one. We're almost halfway up a level. Halfway to level 18. It's the Mega Raptors. They've been doing it for us really, really well. It's the only random encounter I, ho I hope to run into, actually. Because there were 38 a kill, which is... Just over a hundred experience and kills alone. It's a hundred and what? Four? Or so? Yeah, it's alright, I think. Oh, those are wyverns. We're leaving that alone. Okay, so there's looks like there's a little bit more to explore down here before we go up north. So let's take a look down here a little bit. We found some Yuan Ti by a, what looks to be a temple, but is maybe nothing. I don't know. No, leave me alone! We'll parlay with them and inspire some fear, because why not? We're gonna run out of haste. That would have been an amazing hit on a boss. That was a double critical haste hit. So it was two attacks in... Like two primary attacks and that and both crit. So it would have been something like three hundred and something damage in a single attack. A single double attack, I should say. It would have been pretty spectacular to see. That is something big. That is Sikorian's Damas. So we're gonna have to go in there, obviously, because that looks huge and sort of imposing. Maybe important. It's a giant tower. Don't attack me, I was sleeping I was sleeping. I was sleeping. Can't they not say I was sleeping? What? Did we just get what spells back? We did. Are the Yonti even worth fighting at this point? I don't even know how much experience we're getting, or we're getting for these encounters. That's all of them, right? Yep. Okay. So, it's 18 times 3. Just 54. Plus 640. Okay, so they're worth a fair amount. This massive obsidian tower rises out of the surrounding jungle. Shimmering magical wards crisscross the entry, barring any entry. Look for a... no, we have a sorcerer, don't we? Spellcraft, disable the wards. Utilizing your knowledge of magic, you successfully render the wards inert. Let's go inside. Don't need to go find a new way in. Oh, that's a bad thing. When the tower you're going into has a giant floating skull and three dread, wa dread wraiths immediately upon entry. It's not a super friendly place. Step, follow me. Right. 
Alright, let's go. Oh, they have concealment? That's just annoying. We are getting ability drained fast. And our rogue died. We are going to have to probably go back inside and rest after this. But hopefully we'll win before that point, right? We should get undeaths. That thing that stops undeath things. Alright, well... I don't care about any of this. Alright, we're just going to quickly, uh... Well, let's get rid of all the traps first. Then we'll just hop outside, do a quick rest, and then we'll come back in. That was unfortunate. Critical failure. The trap does not go away, though, after triggering. Interesting. Time to go out. That really hurt, whatever that was. Something hit us for a whole bunch of damage. Just randomly. Let's we'll camp outside and go back in. We have lots of health and stuff. We'll be fine. Quick saving. Back to our monk. It seems like the Yuan-Ti probably wouldn't enter this tower. Okay, I need you to get this thing done. Maybe we should talk to the floating head. What is this? We'll stop critically fa Oh, I see. It's a massively high DC to do. Okay. Hello there. You know what? Not worried about it. You? Let's go talk to the head. Yes, that is so. The giant skull seems to acknowledge you, but says nothing. Okay. Just don't step on the traps. Ow. Come open the door, please. Oh, the door has a trap on it. Okay, that's fine. We'll bring our rogue closer to open the door. Or something. Maybe I should turn off AI and just move all my people around carefully. Oh, yes. Come up here. Yes, that is so. You follow me, okay? Um, you, you wish. up here. Of course, there is a tr sonic trap right there that I didn't notice, so that wasn't Hello super there. helpful. Can I do something for you? And there's a deadly strike trap right there too. Follow. Once she loses her daze, we'll move her. So we probably can't do the epic traps. They're a little bit above our pay grade. How long does this daze last for? Or this stun, I should say? Oh, it's good. Okay. Deadly we should be okay with, I think. Yeah, so 43 versus DC 38. We're fine for that one. This one, I have no idea what the DC is. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay. Unlocking now. We'll try the epic sonic trap, but I don't imagine it's going to go super well for us. We'll find out. Since we're not threatened, we should be able to take 20 on it, which means we should be able to succeed. But we can't. The DC is 38. We cannot... No, we can succeed. I don't know why it's not taking 20, though. Maybe it's too high of a level and we're not allowed to take 20 on it? Follow me now. Is there something you wish? Hello there. Can I do something for you? Are you awake? Good. Magnum Raramatir. Do I not have cure mass light wounds? I guess not. Quick save. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to just go into that room. 
Oh, it's just an upper level. Okay. Gather up, everyone. We're going to try and not run over this trap on the way in. All right, we did a pretty good job. Let's go upstairs. Yes, that is so. Oh, the beetle. Sonic trapped itself, but I don't care. What the hell is attacking us? Hell Fury skeletons right on the other side of the door. I didn't even see them. Like, they were attacking us through the door. And they blow up when they die, so they really hurt when they die. We have no... Here, we have no mass heal spells. That explosion is extremely annoying. Can we rest in here? Of course not. Why would we be why would be allowed to rest in the Tower of Death? Alright, that's actually not too bad for health. Let's heal up him. Okay, we're gonna be using our rogue with search mode on. I don't usually use that because it's not usually that important, but this has proven to be a little bit... Guys, why are you following so close? A little bit of a dangerous place with some very serious undead. They mean business. I should probably loot at that stuff, eh? Maybe. Ruby. Ugh. Oh, they just dropped rubies. Okay. Follow me now. All right. So there's a door. Yes. With what behind it, though? Oh, another stairwell. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm saving a lot because this place is very dangerous. That door is certainly trapped. We just pushed our monk right into it. Or sorcerer? Hard to tell. Well, the trap was triggered, but it doesn't seem so bad. Nothing really happened that I noticed. What should be some sort of terrifying lich on the other side of this door? What is that thing? Oh, it's a mind flare. And two vampire lords, and some sort of portal. They are definitely aggressive to us, so we are going to go into a fight. There is a guarantee about that. I don't know how this is going to go. We'll get a holy aura going. All right. Yes, that is so. Hi guys, come down here to me. Taste of yeah. 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 Oh crap! Right, AI back on. Everyone fight. Why is no one fighting? Our cleric is getting just rolled over. Okay, so we didn't have AI on. That was my own fault. That was a stupid mistake on my part. We need to not stand in that deadly storm thing, too. Couple minor errors there. First one was not having any sort of... Sure, you yes. follow me, okay? Sure, yes. Um, AI on. Is something you wish? Just go straight at him, actually. Why aren't you going? Literally, you have one order. Go. Not by yourself. Why are you not going to? Oh my god, this is just painful. Okay. That didn't do as much damage as I was hoping, but... 
fine. I don't know why our group members aren't going anywhere, but I need to heal, like, now. Badly wounded and injured. Good, that's a good start to the fight. Okay, just kill these guys then. done any damage to the main guy yet. Hopefully soon. There we go. Now we've done some damage to him. What are you doing? Just attack Oh, you're stunned. I see. Alright. Well, we're gonna keep going with Missile Swarms. He's almost dead anyways. Alright. That wasn't so bad. A morning star plus four? Seriously? Give me a hand. This is too much to carry. Yeah, yeah, we'll move stuff around. He can't oh, right, this is not our monk. Well now our monk's over in burdened, but whatever. I need to ID things. We'll move things off of you in a sec here. So the morning star plus four, that's cool. Um chain plus four, kinda useless. We don't have anyone that uses chain. What's a ring of divine power five? Extra level 5 Cleric Spell. Ah. That's pretty fancy. Could do some things with that. Alright. Ring and Bracers. Bracers of Armor plus 8. Holy crap. Ring of Protection plus 4. And a Ring of Major Fire Resistance. That's pretty much it. That was a cool fight. For sure. That Ring of Armor. Where'd that go? Or Bracers of Armor, I should say. That'll take out his thundering hand wraps. It won't, however, stop our sorcerer from being just a huge tank. If he would actually put them on, so that was seven extra armor for him. He's back. He's up to twenty-one armor, which is a fairly reasonable amount of armor. I actually think. What's the armor on these full plates? Eleven. Yeah, 11. Anyways, we're out of time. We're way, way over time. I'm going to go out and heal, and then we'll continue on our way. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you next time. Take care.